Known as the vice commander of the Shinsengumi, also known as that guy that really likes mayonnaise, Hijikata Toshiro is one of my favorite characters in Gintama. Hijikata is feared by many of his subordinates within the Shinsengumi for being strict, dedicated to his role, and for formulating the 45 regulations that form the disciplinary layout for all Shinsengumi members. But before becoming the vice commander of the Shinsengumi, Hijikata led a very unfortunate life, and before becoming someone who was feared out of respect, Respect was feared as someone who was seen as a monster. Today on Gintama Explained, we will be discussing the entire origin story of Hijikata Toshiro. Before we get into the video, let me go ahead and thank those of you who shared the previous Gintama Explained video over on Twitter. Thank you to Maladen769, Rokia Kuchki, Koka2201, ZeroLagX, Sakurain22, Afshin1996, Zoro Tashigi18, HDK51200, Indigo Dango, and Uchiha Shadow123. If you want your name shout out in the next video, all you have to do is share Share this video over on Twitter and then tag me at Myruzukage over on Twitter and I'll be sure to shout your name out in the next video. With that said, let's get back into the video. Hijikata was the son of a mistress and his father was a rich farmer. Hijikata was actually born after his father had died and his identity as the illegitimate child of the family was revealed. Being the illegitimate child, he wasn't seen as part of the family and was hardly shown any kind of attention whatsoever. However, the elder brother of the family, Hijikata Tamagoro, welcomed Toshiro to the family and took care of Toshiro after the death of both of their parents. Through his acts of kindness, Toshiro viewed Tamagoro as a father figure and grew very attached to his elder brother. Around the age of 11, there eventually came a large fire in the village and some bandits used this opportunity to break in and steal what they wanted by any means necessary, even going as far as attacking Toshiro in the process. But luckily, Tamagoro was able to protect him. However, upon doing so, Tamagora lost his eyesight in both of his eyes. In an uncontrollable rage, Toshiro attacked the bandits in retaliation. When he came to his senses, he realized he was holding a knife, brandished in blood, with the bandits on the floor, each with injuries to their eyes in the same way they inflicted upon Tamagoro. From witnessing this event, the siblings of the family stood in fear and silence, glaring at young Toshiro with himself, finally realizing that this act will haunt the family forever if he were to stay. Unfortunately, he could no longer stay with his beloved brother. Thus, Toshiro decides to abandon the family and become an outsider. Even while as an outsider, Hijikata pressed forward and kept a goal in mind in order to survive, to become stronger. Hijikata would go out of his way to seek out fights in various dojos in order to test his abilities and become stronger, all because of the incident from the past. He grew obsessed with the fact that he was unable to do anything and was unable to protect the people he loved. Instead of people protecting him, he wanted to be the protector. Eventually, all the dojos that Hijikata would visit to pick fights with teamed up together in order to take him out for good. Hijikata tried his best to fight back against the growing numbers, taking them down one by one. But against such numbers, he didn't stand a chance. Throughout the whole fight, Kondo Isao was watching and decided to bring Hijikata back to his own dojo. It was there where he not only met Kondo, but also met the Okita siblings, Okita Sogo and Okita Mitsuba. After becoming an official student of the dojo, and some time after, Kondo, Hijikata, and Sogo were all planning a trip to head to Edo in order to start anew. Before leaving, Okita Mitsuba confessed her love to Hijikata, but ultimately rejected her. In his heart, he knew he cared for her deeply as well, but due to living a life full of violence, he knew he would not be able to provide happiness for her. Before the eventful day of the group leaving for Edo, Hijikata went back to his old home to visit his brother after many years and had his last dinner with him. Hijikata did not speak a word throughout the whole visit as he felt as though simply being in his brother's presence was enough. Though, once he left the home, he promised his brother that he would send letters in order to stay connected with each other, and with that, Hijikata, Sogo, and Kondo left for Edo. And from this point on, the special police force known as the Roshigumi would be formed, later to be known as the Shinsengumi. 
Hichikata is one of my favorite characters within the series of Gintama, and I think why I like him so much is that he reminds me of Gintoki in a lot of ways, something that even Okita Mitsuba has mentioned herself. Both characters have their regrets, both aim to become stronger in order to protect others. Both have a hard time opening up with others, and both even have similar fears. Hijikata has also pointed out that he and Gintoki are similar due to the fact that both do not expect forgiveness to those that they kill, but rather aim to stop those from making the same mistakes that they once did. But I think just like Gintoki, Hijikata's biggest resemblance to Gintoki has to be their past. Both were essentially outcasts. Both lost their families with Gintoki losing his family with Shoyo, Katsura, and Tagasugi due to tragic circumstances, and Hijikata having to abandon himself from his original home due to being seen as a monster in others' eyes. Regardless, both were able to pick themselves back up off the ground and carry forward, and eventually they found a family once again, with Gintoki finding a family within the Yorozua and with Hijikata finding a family amongst the Shinsengumi.